Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we are going to use Popper JS package in React JS. I'm going to show you how to uh, set up and uh, configure it in your React JS project in order to have something to uh, handle positioning of your elements uh, inside your project. Actually, Popper JS is not made just for making tooltips. Uh, it's you can use it to build some tooltips, but it's a uh, positioning engine as you can see in the main official page of uh, the popper js org but uh, here in this example in this video i'm gonna uh, do a project uh, because of explaining it in a better way we are going to implement a tooltip but if you want to make some tooltips only uh, i would definitely recommend you to use tp as you can see it's yeah i'm gonna make another video about uh, adding tooltips using tpjs you can uh, watch that video whenever it's ready uh, from the top link of this video you can click on it and go to the, that page and watch that video as well so uh, today we are going to build a tooltip using popper js inside react js so be with us to show you how we can do it uh, here I have, a, let me run my project first. I have a very simple React.js project which I prepared as always. And I just have one box and I have one function to toggle it to open and close. As you can see, if I click on it, it will be expanded and closed. Yeah, and uh, let me open it here and let me show you how we can install react popper it's the documentation for it you can install it using npm or yarn and be careful you need to install both packages if you are uh, running it inside your react.js application so i'm gonna install it you can easily install this And to start configuring it, uh, there is a lack of documentation for React.js uh, package of this uh, library, but uh, almost everything is the same with the vanilla.js uh, package. You can use those documentations, but let me show you what is the difference. Inside, we are, we're gonna use React hooks. Uh, to build our example we can also use render props but it, this way is a legacy and we don't want to use it anymore and uh, we should use something like use popper to initialize our popper library uh, but if you want to use vanilla js you should use this link is broken good popper let me show you should be inside popper constructor yeah it's uh, create popper api and uh, almost everything is the same so i'm going to use this documentation to build it inside our react.js project okay after when it's finished uh, the first thing that i want to do is importing import use popper popper from react popper and then uh, we are going to uh, consider this box as our main element and we just want to add a pop-up at the tooltip near your feet so uh, i have two elements the first one is the reference which is our box and the other one is our tooltip div so uh, i'm gonna create two reference let's do it using use ref uh, box ref and use ref api of react.js you can also use create ref uh, if you are using class components in react.js and 
the other one for tooltip I'm gonna name it tooltip ref and to initialize the value for these references I just need to add ref property like this box ref and I'm gonna add another div for our tooltip so ref is tooltip ref this is an example tooltip is it installed yeah what the problem is let me rerun it let me check it again yeah it is added here but we haven't connect this tooltip and this box to popper to do this uh, we just need to use uh, const use popper the first argument should you should pass the reference to your box and uh, i'm gonna use box ref dot current in order to get access to dom element and tooltip ref dot current for our tooltip and when uh, this function run we, you can access to several uh, elements uh, one of them is uh, styles and the other one is attributes that we are going to use them inside our component for the styles it should be used for our tooltip style so i'm gonna use style equals to styles dot popper you should use this syntax and also for attributes we should do that same no uh, we should do it like this attributes dot popper Uh, we also need to uh, define a CSS style for our tooltip. It's not handled by default by the popper library. We should do it manually. That's why I'm saying we better to use uh, TP for making tooltips, but no problem. We can do it. I've written them before. Let me uh, remove them and for this one I'm gonna use a class class name equals to class names I'm gonna use the class names uh, library to handle CSS styles and if you don't have any idea about class names and you want to learn more about it you can go to the top link and watch that video okay uh, I'm gonna set the default class to be tooltip and also if the box was open add another class uh, to show and hide the tooltip so tooltip hidden equals to not is open which is our state and indicates the box is open or not and i need to define my tooltip class here i'm gonna set just a background color yeah this color is good and tooltip hidden it's going to be visibility hidden and pointer events to not Remember that you, it's better not to use display none as the documentation for popper says uh, you should uh, hide your tooltip or any element that you are using using uh, visibility hidden instead of display none. Okay, let's see what we have here. Yeah, as you can see when I open my box, it is added 
underneath my box. Uh, there are some uh, ways in order to customize this library. One of them uh, is using modifiers and near modifiers we can also define placement. Let me show you placement. I don't like the documentation interface for this library, but inside the constructor, yeah, we have placement and to use it, you just need to add another object to the end of the create popper or use popper and define your placement. Let me do it. Placement, it's gonna be, we can use these values. For example, I want to show it at top. And as you can see, it's added on top of my uh, box. We can, for example, use top, what was it, top start. And yeah, it's added at the start point of my box. Uh, in order to have some margins, it's better not to use a CSS margin because there is a built-in way for doing that and it's uh, it should be done using modifiers. In order to define modifiers, you can do it in this way. Modifiers is going to be an array and within it we can have several objects. The first one we just want to use offset. To making some margins and the options equals to offset and we can define it using an array the first uh, parameter is for a skidding and the second for distance let me show you in the documentation offset yeah the first one is skidding and the second one is distance. As you can see, uh, the skidding parameter will, for example, move the element in the x axis, and the distance will make some uh, something like margins to your element. Let me show you with my example. First, I just want to add some distance, and yeah, as you can see. There is a margin between my tooltip and my box. I want to make it 100 pixels and yeah, it's added. And to have some uh, alignment in your X axis, you can do it using the first parameter. So I want to have 20 pixels and yeah, it's added as you can see. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave it a like. It really helps me. And if you enjoyed this video, you probably enjoy watching these videos as well. Thank you guys. Take care. See you in the next video.